Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with a very special installment of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you, as always, by Maor DC. Now, what makes this Rabbi E in 3 different than all other Rabbi E's, E's and 3's? <laughs> but, well, two reasons. One, because it's a special day, as the way I phrased that last point might suggest to you it's Erev Pesach as I'm recording this. And in less than 24 hours, we'll be having seders. And the day of Erev Pesach itself is a day of energy and, and preparation and anticipation for the incredible festival that's almost upon us. That's one reason why it's a special Rabbi Ian 3. Number two, it's special because I'm saying a special hello and welcome to this semester's Maimonides Jewish Leaders Fellowship Group. They've seen me in person, but now I'm going to send them this video. So if they watch it, hi, guys and girls, and you're, you are a special group. It's been a great semester together. Okay, so it's Erev Pesach. I've got another question for you. Not, not the ones we're going to do in the Haggadah, of course. You guys and everyone will do tomorrow night and the next night, the two Seder nights, your, the four questions. i got another question. What is the sound of freedom? I'm going to give you an answer. The crunching of matzah, the crunching and chewing of unleavened bread, which will be high decibel sound tomorrow night at many a Seder throughout the world and the next night. The crunching of matzah is the sound of freedom. Let freedom crunch. What am I talking about? This is the festival of freedom, Zman Cherusenu, as we say in our prayers. God redeemed us from Egypt. It was a physical redemption and a spiritual redemption from physical bondage and slavery, which was horrible, and from spiritual impurity and idolatry. And he brought us to him to be his people, to serve him, the one God, Hashem Yisbarach Shemo. So, it's the holiday of freedom, and the matzah is a symbol of freedom. Now, it's true, there are many symbols of freedom that we, you know, uh, during the course of the night, the cups of wine and leaning, but matzah, which is the star of the show, it has top billing. We speak the words of the God while the matzah is listening. And that's how the Talmud describes it. It's, it's bread, unleavened bread, over which we say many words. The matzah symbolizes our freedom. We say it in the Passover Haggadah. Why, did our fa- why do we eat this unleavened bread? Because the dough of our fathers didn't have time to become leavened before HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be He, revealed Himself to them and redeemed them. Right? We were driven out of Egypt quickly. No time to let the bread rise. Matzah symbolizes freedom. When God... When it was time for God to take us out and he knew the right time, he whisked us out of there so quickly, above time as it were, and the bread didn't have time to rise. So matzah symbolizes the freedom, the freedom of redemption. And matzah itself, the commentaries explain, is a bread that's free of any other affiliations. There's no fruit juice in there. There's no honey. There's no sweetener. It's pashut. It's plain. It's simple. It's free of entanglements. And that's a level of purity. Just like we Jewish people were freed from all other entanglements and, and idolatries, all idolatries, to serve Hashem in purity, in freedom, and holiness. Bread is the symbol of freedom. Our freedom, our spiritual freedom. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I wish I had the sound effects, but you're not allowed to eat matzah on the day before Pesach. So, have a wonderful holiday. It's a night to strengthen our faith in Hashem, in God, in the fact that we have a special covenant with Him. He took us out of Egypt to be a people to Him, and He, with divine providence, He did that with wonders and miracles, and He governs this world with divine providence. Have a wonderful Pesach, and I'm under four minutes. Now, that three minutes, that's a miracle. <laughs> Bye.